This is a video for AQA Further Pure Mathematics Sequences and Series Section 1.4 and in this we'll be using the standard formulae developed in the last two videos to find combined sums. Well the first example we've got here is the sum from r equals 1 to 50 of r squared plus 3r plus 1. We can write this as being the sum of sigma r squared from 1 up to 50 plus 3 times sigma r from 1 up to 50 and then plus the sum of 1 from 1 up to 50. Maybe a strange way of writing that last one you may think however it's just to remind you that it's not just adding 1 but it's adding 1 50 times. So now using the formula that we've developed for sigma r squared r and sigma r and sigma of 1, we can write this as firstly 50 multiplied by 51 multiplied by 101 divided by 6, so that's n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1 over 6. Then plus 3 times sigma r is equal to n which is 50 multiplied by n plus 1 51 divided by 2 and then finally the sum of 1 from 1 to 50 is equal to n which is 50 and if you then calculate those you find you get a total of 46,800 Right, now this time, instead of having a number at the top of the summation, we're just left with n, so we're asked to find a general expression. So in other words, we just need to substitute the formulae that we have for sigma r squared. So this is n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1 over 6. Add to it 3 times the sigma r formula, so 3 multiplied by n n plus 1 over 2 and then finally plus the sum of 1 which is n. Well, the advice now would be to factor out n from the top line and 6 from the denominator. So We now need to look carefully at what's left in each of the three parts of the expression. So in the first part we're left with n plus 1 and 2n plus 1 second part n has gone so leaving us the factor n plus 1 we now need to think about the number that we have and 3 over 2 we can think of as being 9 over 6 so we've got the number 3 over 2 that's the same as 9 over 6 the factor of 9 has gone out sorry I beg your pardon the factor of 6 has gone out so we're left with 9 and finally We've got n, but we've got to think about that as being 6n over 6. So when we take the n over 6 as a factor, we're left with plus 6. We then need to multiply out the brackets that are left inside the larger one. So we end up here with 2n squared plus 3n plus 1 and then plus 9n plus 9 and finally plus 6. That you can sort out by gathering together as a quadratic and then factorising. So it just leave you to check that you end up with a total of 2n squared plus 12n plus 16 which can then factorise to give us n over 3 n plus 2 and n plus 4. So just check through the working in those final two lines and make sure you're happy with it. Well sometimes the sums that we're faced with don't actually start at 1 so we need to think about how we can deal with that. So first of all this one here could be written as the sum from r equal to 10 up to 40 of r squared minus the sum from 10 up to 
40 of 1. Well, in general, if we've got a sum from A up to B of any expression to calculate, we can think about that as being the sum from 1 up to B and then subtract from it the sum from 1 up to A minus 1. So if you think about this as sort of a, a long line going from 1 up to B, and what we want is from A up to B, so we're subtracting from that from 1 up to A minus 1. So this sum here we can write as being the sum from 1 up to 40 of R squared minus the sum from 1 up to 9 of R squared. The numerical part is perhaps a little bit easier because we just need to think how many terms are there between 10 up to 40. And of course from 10 up to 40 is a total of 31. So therefore this is equal to minus 31. Again you could think about that as being 40 minus 9 as being equal to 31. So once you've got that, it's then a straightforward exercise to use the formula for r squared, so n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1 over 6, and substituting the values at the top of the summations, so in the first expression 40, and in the spe second expression 9, and then a calculator to get us the value of 21,824. Well, that's the end of this video on looking at combined sums. And in the next one, we'll look at a, a different method for finding sums, which is called the method of differences.